scouting campsites for one July. Drinking some Voyager Northern Drift. On 516, tomorrow we're heading in to the Crocodile River. Entry point 66. I think I see you. Hi. There's no ghouls up here. Goblins? Trolls? This is called Jack Pine. <clears throat> it is May 16th. And these people were here over Halloween at the Tamarack. So, so this loop is probably the best because they're up high, right? Mm-hmm. And there's at the Tamarack? That's where we were just like at? That. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. It yeah. looks freshly painted, actually. We're back. All right, Eva, come here. Boundary Waters Day, May 17th, 2023. We're heading into Crocodile River, Crocodile Lake, entry point number 66. So we are here. We're going to paddle up to the portage here. And then uh, there's four campsites on Crocodile Lake, so we're going to head all the way down to the east end and um, yeah, see which one's the best. And We're the first ones on the lake this year. Well, the first one's with a Crocodile entry point, so we don't expect to be in too much of a hurry, but it's a little chilly out. It's, it's about 35. And... Sounds like we got some rain in the forecast, but we can see the sun right now, so here we go. I'll the yeah, we'll show you a picture. We look good. Before we start our uphill crocodile lake portage. Look what I found though. A dead decoy. 
Gordy. Aww. Yeah. I think we're gonna leave them here. Grab them on the way back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll take us for a quick look here. Still got snow. But yeah, they weren't lying. It's uphill. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna double portage this bad boy, but I just got a kick out of the sign that. Okay, just in case you were wondering, you can't use hang gliders or bicycles up here. Are you ready, pup? Let's go for a walk. Get going! I'm gonna have you go first. Eva, stay close. Hey. So, this is the portage from Bearskin to Crocodile. We were told, or read, it was straight up. And it appears to be straight. wasn't a mistake. <laughs> Pretty nice portage though, otherwise. So, it's a bit of a tease, flattens out here, and then we go round two up the hill. I think we're at the halfway point, or at least at the peak, the because... little swampy up here. Whoa. Yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> Eva, how'd you do? Yeah? You did, did you okay? Dry? Yeah, not bad. Go left, huh? This is breezy up here. Oh shit, it's pretty deep. Oh boy. Oh God, oh no.
felt like it. Yeah. Saw a footprint. After a while, crocodile. Looks pretty. Go get our shit. So we just uh, completed the first and only portage. So the clouds are kind of making this look weird, but we're gonna hit, pop over to this first campsite and check it out, and then move on to the second one, then to the third, and then the fourth, and uh, see where we're gonna set up camp. But the first one apparently is just. Right around this corner here, just in that little bay. And uh, we're gonna roll up right to every site because we're the only one with a crocodile permit. So if somebody else is out here, we're gonna have a little conversation with them. <laughs> right, this is the entry to the westernmost campsite on Crocodile, supposedly. You saw it catch on? have to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I think for documentation purposes we gotta get at least a picture. What is that creature right there? Oh yeah, it looks like a snake. Oh, this is gross right here. Is that poop? Well, first thoughts. Serviceable. Not ideal, but if you had nowhere else to say it would work. It would drain well in the rain. Ah. Did you open it up? I did not. It's brand new. Huh. What do you think, Eva? A little steep there. What the hell's going on back here? Lovely. Yeah, before and after, yeah. since everybody's got an opinion. Yep. Okay, we got a U.S. Forest Service it's narrow grate. Yep, kind of a leaner. Oh. Kind of rocky, but you could. He could maybe squeeze a tent. Can we make it back to the latrine? I'm giving it a D for doable. Uh -huh. Ooh, moose shit. Lots of it. Lots of moose shit. Yeah, very fresh. I see the latrine. No moose. Huh. Old school one, but you're up on top of a hill. Yep. Eva, stay away from there. Eva, come here. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going with a uh, D plus, okay. or maybe, yeah, I'm gonna go D plus on this site. Yeah. All right, on to number two. Here's the second from the west, the landing. To hold on to Eva so she doesn't bail.
Right, we're at the second campsite from the last on Crocodile. Decent landing here, pretty sandy. Water's a little high, but it wasn't too bad. And up the entry to the kitchen. Pretty protected in here, lots of cedars. So it looks more awake back here than elsewhere. Decent kitchen, good view. Ooh, places we can put a hammock up. And considering it's gonna be cold and windy, it's still a pretty good view. We're currently at the second campsite on Crocodile Lake. This is the Voyager map and this is what it looks like on the Fisher map. Um, we're kind of on a peninsula here. So that way is east and that's to the north. We like this site because there's lots of uh, tarp options. Uh, we're expecting some rain possibly later today. <clears throat> so we decided that this is going to be our home for the next three nights. That way we can paddle off to the far east end and collect a ton of firewood for tonight and the next few nights. So, yeah, we're going to get this uh, camp bomb-proof, rain-proof, and then we're going to head off east and hopefully not run into any weather. It's a nice sight, though. We'll uh, set up a time-lapse and uh, maybe get a view of how we set up camp. First buddy of the season. It's huge. We can take a long one until we get around this bend, even. Okay. 
thinking these guys might take off. Look at their waves. Rolling up on the second to the east on Crocodile Lake. Maybe the left. I think there's one more. I don't think we missed it. Not too bad. Pretty. Look at that giant. Is that a jack pine? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right there. Look at the rock. Maps are completely different. Oh, really? Because this looks accurate compared to my map. It's funny. So, the last two campsites on Crocodile are correct on this Voyager. You can see this little stream right there. And on the Fisher map, it has them shifted to the left too far. They're actually more to the right. Okay, Eva, there's the latrine, campsite number three. Pretty rough looking. This big pine is cool. And I kind of like the view from the fire pit. It'd be fun chilling at, right? Yeah, this is... <laughs> yeah, I guess they must have been cold this fall or winter, huh? Huh. I like the bed of needles. I do like the pine floor. Um, but overall, what, you see a tent pad? Maybe one or two tent pads, huh? The fourth and final campsite on Crocodile. This is the farthest east. Okay, slow it down, slow it down, okay. It's pretty. Yeah, like, I think this is probably the last one. There's the train camp number four. Here we go, lead the way, Eva. Go! This looks pretty. Got a tent pad over there. Here's your fire grate. 
some of the wood gnomed. There's your view. We're saying that this is the second best site on the crocodile. Yeah. I'm good with that. So camp number four is beaver camp. Been sharing it with some beavers across the lake. Okay, remember which way we came from? Oh, shit. Gotta go left. Right next to the fourth campsite, closest to the east, there is a little bit of death on the water. Assuming a moose was a moose. It's a big rib cage. Horse? Sea monster? Dragon? Could be a dragon. Looks like a tail. A little dragon. Definitely a dragon. Yeah. We're now headed west on Crocodile, and here is the third campsite, second from the east. We're, we're calling this one the, the least favorable one, right? I don't know. I think number one and three are very, very close. Yeah. Like, they would work if you had to. This one yeah, looked... This one has nicer frontage. But it looks rougher in there. Yeah, the back of camp. Is yeah. It's a little, a little rough in there, but it would work. If you stay in the front. <laughs> yeah, and probably a hammock. Yeah, definitely a hammock. But I it'll work. The first bog site looked gross. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I would go. Our campsite's the best. So we're saying, if we're going west to east, one, two, three, four, saying that number two is the best. And then number four is second, and one and three are tied for yeah. not favorable, but will work. Coming up on some little rapids. Looking to the south here from Diddy and Pitcher, like Pitcher Water. goes way up there. The other one's about right. Oh yeah, do you see that? Right there. So you can tell if, when the water is lower. A doozy. So, is this a beaver dam? Like a giant, giant, or hut? Right. Look at that right there. Is that a fish? Thing? Firewood hunt 2023. Unsuccessful so far. Doesn't look bad. If we could just get onto shore there. Huh. I like I like this area. It's feeling good. Gross. 
That's a lot of. Lots of years of stuff. That's years, yeah. Good work. That wood's pretty dry. It should go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that stuff is really dry. See flamage. Yeah. I see that they have like smoke straws, so you can like uh -huh. blow into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sunset in about an hour and twenty. I don't even know what time it is right now, so I can't confirm or deny. Oh, we got our Tarp City set up. Is it supposed to rain all day tomorrow? So, let's. How many square feet you figure we got? 10 by 12, and then. In our house. <laughs> I don't know what that. Yeah, that thing is huge. The big Agnes Deep Creek Large. And that's a Cook Custom Sewing 10 by 12. But yeah, this thing's. Pretty large. Yeah, nice fire. Frickin' smoke is blowing right where I'd want to sit though, but. <laughs> it's kind of yeah it's looking pretty over there for sunset oh yeah yeah the smoke's climbing let's turn some tunes on Of course, so it's a commercial. It's always a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Nice wood thing. Yeah, I think we'll be good for tonight. We got completely skunked. Coming back from the far eastern side of the lake. But we found some around camp. We're good for tonight. So this is the walk from camp up down to the point. Pretty cool. There's the sun, there are the clouds, and there's the rain coming. Yeah, I don't think it pays to get a time lapse. <laughs> Ooh, did it just step in the water? Hmm. Where did it go? A little swampy. Wanna go out on the point? Yeah, I'm just going to check it out. It's kind of fun uh, hanging out out there, too. What'd you say? Another point. Three points?
Yeah, this is a nice spot. Yeah, no shit. They're starting to bud. Yeah, let's throw some more wood on. Soap gnomes. <laughs> Soap gnomes. Yeah. <laughs> How funny would that be? I like it. Um, I've never thought of retiring on soap gnomes. And you can smooth it with just the heat of your hands, you know? I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Why is it smoking so much? <laughs> motion would be funny on that oh there's a there's a spirit in there yeah, yeah. See, you see something yeah it's blowing do you see it like the o's yeah no but if it's gonna be rainy tomorrow then i can drain my battery on my phone sit and watch that show if i want to yeah i think it's gonna be raining because i don't think you like that brick that you plugged into? I think that's still fully charged. It's Thursday, May 17th from Crocodile Lake. This is the uh the calm before the anticipated storm. We had a nice fire last night. Had a nice fire and then went to bed and it got cold. It got colder than we anticipated. So we pretty much wore everything we had to bed and then just was, we're in survival mode. Slept until about eight o'clock, which is usually pretty late for us. So since we're expecting rain today, we're gonna hunker down. We're ready. We actually moved the tent uh, under the rain fly just for some extra protection um, We got stuff to keep us occupied today So we got games we got the Kindle some new additions we got These are watercolor pencils Everything you need in here. I think there's enough water around to make this work might utilize these today if it doesn't rain. So this, these are new additions. This is my 12th trip, I think. And every time I'm like, I want a rake. It's very satisfying to uh, be able to clear your tent pad, clear it of little rocks, figure out where the roots are. So maybe if I get bored, I'll just rake the whole campsite. And then these, this is a last minute addition. Really nice for collecting firewood and protecting your hands. So, we got plenty to do today. And uh, another addition over here. Where are we at here, Barkeep? We're uh, calling this the uh, Yellow Top Pub. This is the Yellow Top Pub. It's not open yet. It opens at 11 a.m. So no way. We got five minutes. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Uh, we picked up some... Uh, Northern Waters Distillery products last weekend. This is blueberry basil vodka. All right. Very, you got to mix that with something. Okay. Got your apple brandy. Very nice. And top shelf, uh, this is moonshine, vanilla maple moonshine. Vanilla maple moonshine. All right. Your uh, 
2023 Pinot Noir. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, so nothing, got... nothing worse than an old wine. No. All right. So a I, so I think we're gonna start the day off with the Z, uh, Z <laughs> uh, blueberry basil vodka and uh, a little bit of lemonade. So we're we're ready. One thing to be aware of when you come to this area is that there's no real great forecast. You can get kind of the general forecast maybe of the area, uh, Ely, Grand Marais, but neither of those really are accurate. So it's raining in Ely right now, we heard on the NOAA radio. It's nice in Grand Marais. Uh, the wind in Duluth is out of the east. <laughs> the wind in Ely is out of the southwest. Um, so you just have to pay attention and be ready. Six o'clock and the sun's peeking out. We survived the rain. I know. It did rain a lot. It was a nice four hour nap session <laughs> though. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty hazy with those Canadian fires going on. Nice calm lake. The sun just disappeared behind those clouds. And I'm guessing that's the night rain that they were talking about. Canadian haze. Yeah, the smoke is ridiculous. <laughs> it's even smoky on this lake. Yeah. There's air quality warnings in Duluth today. Mm-hmm. Good start to summer. Can't really beat the spot for a fire, though. What is the best kitchen we've had? Hmm. Well, this bag is pretty good. Yeah, little seg was amazing. Got the view from up there. Mm. You know, even what was the campsite that we stayed at. Oh, Eva. Uh, it just started raining again, so we're packing up, making the camp bomb proof for a storm if we get one tonight, and yeah, it's uh, our last night, we're heading out tomorrow. But it was a really good trip. Glad to check out Crocodile Lake. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be back someday, but a lot of the park left to explore. So good night from Crocodile Lake.
we're being held hostage by the rain that has been going for 12 hours now? Yeah. It's definitely rained over an inch. Probably closer to two. Yeah, I could walk down there. Even this worm is making its way into the kitchen. It does enough. <laughs> That's a lot of rain that we got. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like it's kind of ended, but 30 mile an hour um, wind gusts might have us staying one more night here. but we got an open opportunity to hit the road so adios crocodile it's been fun a rainy trip but a fun trip Rolling up to the portage to East Bear Skin. I think it's right here on the right because those are the rapids up ahead. Don't want to go down that. We do want to go into that, I think. Yeah, that's got to be it. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe it's a little farther ahead. I think it's right now. Oh yeah, that looks like the opening. There it is. Right there. Okay. Heading down the steep part now. A bonus campsite review here from East Bearskin. Oh, that's uh, just a tent pad over there. Yeah, I don't think you can walk along the water. Oh yeah, we're mainly stopping here to check out the waterfalls. They are mushrooms. Cool. Huh? Decent hangout area. I bet you it was really cool when that big tree was alive. Alright Eva, let's go chasing waterfalls.
Wow, look at that rock structure. Yee-hoo! Well, that's deep.